In several of my videos, I've shown how liberal, worldly, quote, scholars swindle the church into accepting abortion. But here's another very recent example. Just a few weeks ago, Dr. Gerald Winslow again published another article defending abortion within the church. And while he uses many of the same tricks, which I've already covered in a separate video, check out this one right here. He writes, biblical scholar John Brunt wrote of this harmony of convictions years ago in an essay on the Bible and abortion. After surveying the divergent approaches of a variety, wow, of Adventist authors, he concluded all agree that the Bible teaches that God values life highly and that we should respond to the, this gracious God by valuing it as well. No one sanctions, oh no, nobody sanctions the kind of wholesale abortion of convenience that has become commonplace. Edward Allred, differences center on the kinds of principles that must be weighed along with this commitment to the value of life. Brunt urges us to not overlook this positive consensus and underestimate its importance. And look right there, reference note 23 and 24, which cite from this book. And if you go get this book and read Brunt's essay, which is full of errors, just guess. Go ahead and guess. Make a guess who Brunt cites as his main authority. Go ahead and guess. That's right. In fact, Gerald Winslow correctly shows that there is no specific moment when life begins. Winslow, who has written extensively, wow, on this topic, gives the most complete survey. In at least three different articles, Winslow, all three articles are the same. For Winslow, this principle means, in a letter to the editor of ministry, Fredericks attacks, he attacks Winslow's use of this principle. It's totally unbiblical. Could you imagine that? He attacks him. But Fredericks is talking past Winslow here. That's really clever. Winslow again, Winslow appeals, Winslow stresses. The one person who gives explicit recognition is Winslow. At this point, I wonder if they are going to start burning incense to Winslow. Wins Winslow again, Winslow shows. Do you see what they are doing? Winslow cites Brunt, who cites Winslow, who cites Brunt. It's just a tag team. They are just homeboys from Loma Linda tag teaming the church. They have no scripture, they have no evidence, they have nothing, so they wave their magic wand and come up with nonsense. And in order to sound smart, they cite from other, quote, scholars, but in fact, they're just citing from each other. The Bible is a huge problem for them. That's why Brunt says that we must be sensitive to scripture and the true issues at stake in biblical materials. And those issues must, they must then be translated into what? Into our own circumstances. They may necessitate what? Challenging important values, you know, like do not kill innocent children. The Bible is not our only source of evidence. Our own experience must, again, it must be admitted. Says who? He doesn't say to. We will have to. We have to rely on reasoned reflection. If we are going to keep the commandments of God, he says we have to rely not on the Bible, but upon our own minds. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Winslow and Brunt and the Loma Linda crew want the church to rely upon that which is deceitful and desperately wicked. These claims by Winslow and Brunt and others, these are all lies. The only reason the church accepted abortion is because this small contingent of pro-abortion North American word magicians cite from each other. And even when you take the time to read their writings, they are full of blatantly false claims and contradictory arguments. None of what they say makes any sense. It is so embarrassing. It is so embarrassing embarrassing for us as a church to support something based on these completely ridiculous claims. At the end of the day, what this is are North American pro-abortion word magicians who are trying to bully and force the church to bow down and submit to their pro-abortion agenda. Don't let them do that to you. Don't let them bully you and the church. Please, please pick up the phone and make a call to the General Conference. 1-301-680-6000. The person who will answer the phone is the operator and you tell them you'd like to speak to the president's office. You will either be transferred to an answering machine for Elder Wilson's secretary or she herself will pick up the phone. She's a really nice woman. You have less than two minutes to make your point. Tell her that you want the president to explain using the Bible and only the Bible why we as a church support deliberately killing children. Request that the world church be given a chance to vote on this. You can also email president at gc.adventist.org. Please write the email today and let them know that you want answers from the Bible.